Welcome to the fascinating world of the Egyptian zodiac. While most people are familiar with the Western zodiac, the Egyptian zodiac, also known as the Dindera zodiac, predates Western astrology, dating back to approximately 50 BCE. The Egyptian calendar was divided into decans, each lasting 10 days. A full year consisted of 36 decans and an extra 5 days for festivities. The Egyptian zodiac assigns 3 decans to each sign, lasting a total of 30 days, and divided up over the year. This means that two people can be born at completely different times of the year, and still fall under the same sign. Each sign is associated with different personality traits, just like the Western zodiac. Let's take a closer look at the different signs of the Egyptian zodiac. A moon Ra. January 8th to 21st, February 1st to 11th. Strong, independent, and hardworking, individuals born under the sign of a moon Ra are natural born leaders and excel in finance and business. Named after the creator of the universe a moon Ra, these individuals have a drive and work ethic that leads them to success. Anubis, May 9th to 27th, June 29th to July 13th. Quiet and introverted, those born under the sign of Anubis are actually passionate, controlling, and aggressive. They are not afraid to face the darkness and are always willing to tackle life's challenges. The sign is named after the god of death, the guardian of the underworld. Bastet, July 14th to 28th, September 23rd to 27th, October 3rd to 17th. Shy, caring, and compassionate, individuals born under the sign of Bastet prioritize the feelings and emotions of those around them. They have a closely knit social circle and can be seen as possessive and clingy, but it is just because they want to protect the people they hold dear. The sign is named after the goddess of womankind, Bastet, a cat goddess responsible for protecting women and fertility. Geb, February 12th to 29th, August 20th to 31st. Grounded, stable, and reliable, those born under the sign of Geb make decisions based on logic and data. They place their friends and family on a pedestal but can be shy around new people. The sign is named after the god of the earth, Geb. Horus, April 20th to May 8th, August 12th to 19th. Brave, confident, stubborn, and focused, individuals born under the sign of Horus are natural-born conquerors, stopping at nothing to achieve their goals. Despite their drive, they are still family-focused and prioritize those they love. The sign is named after Horus, the god of the sky and protector of the pharaoh. Isis, March 11th to 31st, October 18th to 29th. December 19th to 31st. People born under the sign of Isis are caring, nurturing, and generous. They often take on a protective role and want the best for those they care about. They are playful and have a great sense of humor, much like the sign's namesake, Isis, the goddess of pharaohs and motherhood. Hopi, January 1st to 7th, June 19th to 28th, September 1st to 7th, November 18th to 26th. Individuals born under the sign of Hopi are natural-born teachers and guides in life. They offer insight and wisdom to help others find happiness, success, and fulfillment. They spread their knowledge like Hopi, the god of the Nile, who worked to fertilize the land. Moot, January 22nd to 31st, September 8th to 22nd. People born under the sign of Moot are responsible, sensitive, and driven by stability. They ensure the well-being of their family and work behind the scenes to succeed in everything they set their eyes on. The sign's namesake, Moot, refers to the mother of the world. Osiris, March 1st to 10th, November 27th to December 18th. Individuals born under the sign of Osiris live their lives with a focus on this world's opportunities. They are enthusiastic, energetic, and willing to take risks, much like the sign's namesake, the god of death, Osiris, symbolizing rebirth after death. They face challenges with a view to new chances in life. Sekhmet, July 29th to August 11th, October 30th to November 7th. People born under the sign of Sekhmet value truth, honesty, and justice. Named after the goddess of war, they are talkative, outgoing, and share their opinions freely. However, they are sensitive and easily offended. They are optimistic and full of light when things are going well. Seth, May 28th to June 18th, September 28th to October 2nd. Individuals born under the sign of Seth live for adventure and excitement. Named after the god of chaos, they easily get bored with routine and embrace their free spirit and upbeat outlook. They are highly social and love being in public situations. Thoth, April 1st to 19th, 
November 8th to 17th. People born under the sign of Thoth are gifted in writing and self-expression, like the god of the afterlife, wisdom, and knowledge. They are respected, lovable, and have a unique and creative outlook on life, solving problems in their own unique way. They attract others with their charm and are generally surrounded by people wherever they go. We hope you enjoyed learning about the signs of the ancient Egyptian gods. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories and videos. Thank you for watching.